man. So forgive my skin, I have to reset everything. Um, had some issues with Minecraft, but we are up, back up and running. Um, if you got my update video on Wednesday slash, or Thursday slash Friday, then you know I've been busy. Um, I had to help some family members move, and we got a new addition to the family. We have a lovely new Chihuahua. His name is Khufu. So, uh, yeah. We've, uh, we've been busy. So, yeah, sorry about that. But, uh, I'm going to do an update video slash vlog, um, probably on Saturday, if not Sunday. Um, some things have changed. Move some things around. And I have my own little room to record in now, and not the bedroom. So forgive me if it's a little echoey. And I'm also using my Gemitis Hephaestus headsets as opposed to the heavies. I'm going to give these ones a try um, to see if you guys like them. If you guys like them, I want to use them for a couple videos, uh, let me know. If not, then I'll switch back to my heavies. Um, I did notice that the the microphone quality for the Hephaestus, even though the Hephaestus is a better model, the Hephaestus uh, microphone isn't all that great compared to the Hebe's. But anyway, we're not here for that. So what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Um, I have some great news. As far as... <clears throat> excuse me. As far as mods are concerned, we have well I have toy pad split screen I'm gonna try and get that to work um, but we also have uh, where are you at refined storage oven running and we have tinkers back so we're slowly getting back to where we were. The only thing I'm waiting on now is Ender IO. So I figured, you know, we were going to do Tinkers, but there's still some things I need to do with Tinkers. Um, I want to get lava into this and I always have a constant supply of lava. So we'll get into that later. Um, have to take a trip to the Nether. Um, I did find a dungeon. I did go dungeon diving. And while I was down there, I found Lava Charm. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, the Lava Charm prevents fire damage. Uh, but if you want to take no damage from lava, I also need an Obsidian Skull. So, yeah. Uh, found in another fortresses, Lava Charm allows you to stand in lava for 10 seconds without taking lava damage, indicating by a bar appearing above your armor. Uh, if you have baubles installed, it can also be worn as a ring. Note that Lava Charms do not prevent fire damage, so if you uh, want to take no damage for in lava, you also need an Obsidian Skull. Sorry, I didn't read the rest of the description. But yeah. So, um, as far as new things, as far as items are concerned, really nothing else is new. Um, pretty much everything has been the same. We are going to get into item processing, and we're going to use XNet for that. But that's not what we're going to do today. We're going to work on some Voidcraft today. I wanted to get started with that. Um, the first thing we're going to need to get started with Voidcraft is we're going to need the Void Veda. Void Veda Mechum. Um, there is no recipe for this particular item, but I do know the recipe. First thing we're going to need are some f uh, obsidian flasks. So we're going to need some glass and some obsidian. Not hard. Thought my I hit the one button on my keyboard. <sighs> okay, I know I have obsidian. Where are you at? Basalt, basalt. That doesn't belong in there. Ah, there's a, there's the obsidian. 
That's what belongs in here. Let's see. I know I had glass. Where'd it go? Hmm. Is there sand in there? Is it downstairs? Hmm. That's odd. Could've swore I had some sand. Oh, well, at least sand, I think. Could've swore I made glass, but oh well. Uh, let's check on this. Make sure it's not still producing a crap ton of emeralds. Yep. Give me those emerald seeds. You have to make the seed thing for that. Alright. Let's get some sand. That's, uh, that's good. Let's see what we got in here. Ah, 21 blocks. Alright. Yeah, all this is emerald essence. I'm gonna break the emerald essence. So I can stop growing emerald essence. I already did this several times too, which is annoying. Cool. Lead. Emerald. 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 Emerald Lagasse. <laughs> Sorry about getting sidetracked there. It's just this gets annoying after a while. I'll be glad when we get um, Enderaya back, because then we can work on... Oh, that, was right. that was Enderman crop. Crap. Oh no, it was Emerald crop, okay. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Every time I turn around, there's more. It's like a weed. Ugh. Copper, Enderman, Lead, Emerald. 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 Alright, that's good. Don't go crazy with the lead crop, neither. Alright, that should be good for now. Ugh. And there's a seed device that we have to make. Take all of these essences. So they can be processed. All right, let's go process our glass. Really fast furnace down here. I'm gonna process. Nah, eh, might as well process it all. Look at that. That's ridiculous. And that's not even like the super furnace. That's like nine thousand and one percent efficient. Yeah, all that was just from one piece of red coal. That's insane. Alright. Alright, I'm actually gonna break that. And do that. There we go.
Alright. Hmm. Where can we go? Hmm. Right here seems good. Alright. So, give me one second. I'm going to check some stuff real quick. Make sure I'm going to do everything as right as rain. And I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. <clears throat> so in order to obtain what we need to proceed with Voidcraft, we're going to need some things first. Uh, we're going to need Void Crystal. And we're also going to need Void Essence. Um, pretty much we're going to take the... Uh, the obsidian flask down to a low enough Y level in order to absorb and consume the essences that are down in the depths of the earth. So in order to do that, we're going to have to travel. Hmm, I don't have a thing for Electrum and... That. So that's going to have to go in here for now. Along with you. Uh, glass and obsidian. So you can get put away. And we're also going to need regular book. Huh. Where is... Oh, well, I need a book. Guess not. And I'm going to need... Uh, I need some sugar cane. You... Stop doing that. Need some bone meal real quick. Oh, wait, that's right, it doesn't work on that. Uh, a whole bunch of bone meal for no reason now. Give me one second, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. The wait. So let us grab that. And we'll do the recipe again, and we'll hit apply. Alright, so that's good. <coughs> and we'll make some books real quick. Alright, we have our book. So let us go down to the depths. So you want to go down to a Y level of at least five. And this world backup isn't all that old, so wait, whoa. Oh, that was lead. Okay. <coughs> so we should be able to get down to five at least. We're close to it. We're already at 10, so... Five... Ah. Ah, good. So we have some Essence of the Void. Because of that, we can actually make our book now. Hmm. Interesting. Something seems to be here. Ah. Hinder ore. Nice. 
I do have Vaynor Miner installed, so get that out of there. Don't need to really mine a lot of ores just yet. But it can't hurt. And don't worry, next episode will be on normal. No more peaceful. Figure we do a couple episodes of peaceful to get, you know, situated. Alright, so in order to move on with Voidcraft, I figured we would do this, um, get our book, and then we'll call it an episode. Because I don't want the episode being too, too long. So what you have to do... Take an ender flask, throw it on the ground. I'm going to deactivate my magnets and throw a book into the fire. And voila, we now have the Void Vein Mecha. And now, word of warning. Think of this as Thompcraft. In order to progress further in Voidcraft, we have to perform different spells and tasks within the book. Now, this is a word of warning to all of you. This book is dangerous. It comes with a risk. Whenever anything early on is performed within the book, there's a chance of an explosion. So we must be very careful and not do this in a very sensitive area. Case in point, we will not be performing anything in this book, any rituals, near the base. If we have to, I will build a sanctuary off in the desert somewhere, or at least over here on the secluded island, away from the base. So don't worry. For now... We'll just go over to Secluded Island. Ah, uh, let us crack open the book. Mysteries of the Void and Documentation. Mysteries of the Void. Voidic Ritual Blocks. These special blocks are used to invoke rituals for the Void they may come. The purpose of invoking a ritual is to gain new knowledge. To activate such a ritual, simply construct one shell, then right-click the ritual block with the Vade Vacuum in hand. For your first ritual, just right-click a lone placed ritual block. This will open up new knowledge within the Vade Vacuum. If not done so already. Alright. So it's documentation, and this tells you different blocks and machines, items, tools, weapons, armor, so on and so forth. Zia, which is a world in itself. The Void, which is a world of in itself. The Star Forge. We'll get all into that. No, no need to rush. But the first thing we're going to need in order to do this ritual to get a Voidic Ritual block, is we're going to need Void Crystal. Um, Void Crystal is a very... Uh, is very hard to come by. Uh, um, it is in the end. So in the next episode, it looks like we're going to have to take an early trip to the end. Which we can, because, you know, it's the end. Now, I would say we're not ready to go to the end just yet, because I would prefer that we're decked out in some really good stuff before we head to the end. At least a proper sword and bow. So you know what that means. Next episode. I think it's time we tinker a little bit. 
<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. As always, I'm your host, Steve Fox, I mean Blue Fox 22, a.k.a. Michael Gardner. As always, stay safe, stay as healthy as humanly possible, and above all, stay foxy. I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>